Bellator MMA, live on Paramount Network from Pechanga Resort Casino. We started the night with the middleweight matchup between Stitch 'em Up Joe Schilling and Keith Berry. What an impressive performance by Joe Schilling, showing that he is making that progression from the world-class kickboxer that he has always been into a complete mixed martial artist that can take the fight to the ground and land huge ground and pound shots. He opened up Keith Berry. That's why they call him Stitch Him Up. What a performance. Look at that gash over the eye. That's what good elbows from a good ground fighter will do. Joe Schilling is now putting his mark on I am in the middleweight division. I'm here to stay. Vicious elbows to say the least. Next up, the former champion, Andre Korshkov and Mike Jasper. The, the same spinning attacks that Andre Korshkov has had throughout his career. Very hard to deal with. He hurt Jasper, but Mike Jasper showed exactly what he is in a tough fighter that does not get put away. He hung in there tight with a world-class fighter like Andre Korshkov and took him all the way to the distance in getting a decision by Andre Korshkov, unanimous decision, but what a personal victory for Mike Jasper to put on the performance that he did against a guy the caliber of Korshkov. And then the emotions were at an all-time high. Shane Crutchin and Daniel Strauss returning to the Bellator cage for the first time in 15 and a half months. You have to love both guys in this fight, but with what Daniel Strauss has had to put up with the last over a year, it's that left hand that puts him in a position to hurt Crutchin. He lands it step back, beautiful left hand, puts him down, and from that point, look at him, look at the calmness, puts his hook in, gets what we would say is a rear naked choke, but it's more of a jaw lock. That is a pain compliance. He gets the tap. What a win, the greatest win, even though he's been a champion of Daniel Strauss's career. No doubt about it. Emotional when he spoke to you and justifiably so, Big John. Then our main event of the evening was one that we would love to see again, Syed Awad and Brandon Gertz. Oh my God, what a fight this was. Brandon Gertz always comes to fight. Syed Awad always does too. And they showed, you put these two guys together, you're gonna have a fight. Syed Awad eats a big shot there, goes down, and Brandon has him in trouble. But there is no quit in Syed Awad, and he ends up turning the tables, putting Brandon against the cage, firing back, but here comes Gertz. There is no quit in either fighter. These guys went the three rounds going after each other. Look at that jumping knee. There was no give up. Each guy giving everything he had for 15 minutes to the point at the end of this fight, you just wanted both guys to get the win. Brandon Gertz showed that position in wrestling is what ended up giving him that third and final round. And he took this fight to Syed Awad, who stood in the pocket every moment, going after him, never giving an inch. This was one of my favorite fights ever. Brandon Gertz with an incredible win. For the latest Bellator news and information, go to bellator.com. This has been good stuff. Now this is where things get interesting. Great fight by Rory McDonald. John Fitch goes the distance. Hawaii's own Alima Leigh McFarland 